Hey guys, so now we're on to the trig functions and special angles review page. So we need to have memorized sine, cosine of 30, 60, and 90 degrees. So, oh, 30, 60, and 45. So remember, in a 45, 45, 90 triangle, your two legs are the same. And if you do the Pythagorean theorem, this will be square root of 2. So if you remember the visual of this triangle, you should be able to calculate sine, cosine, or tangent of 45. The other special angle angles are 30, 60. So in a 30, 60, 90 triangle, opposite from 30 is your smallest side, 1. The hypotenuse is double that. And if you do the Pythagorean theorem, this side is square root 3. So if you remember the visual of this triangle, you can figure out sine, cosine, and tangent of 30, as well as sine, cosine, and tangent of 60. So it's definitely good to have these visuals in your mind with special angles. So in number three, they're asking for tangent of pi over 4. So I know that pi over 4 is tangent of 45. Using this triangle, opposite over adjacent, tangent of 45 is 1. Another one that they have is number um, 6, tangent of 330 degrees. So now 330, we have to think about which quadrant is it in. 330 is going to be here somewhere between 270 and 360. I think about what's my reference angle for this 330 degrees. It's going to be 30. So if I think about my 30, this is opposite as 1, this is 2, this is square root 3, this is positive, this is positive. Actually, this would be negative 1 because it's coming down. So tangent of 330 is opposite over adjacent, negative 1 over square root 3, which is negative square root 3 over 3. So if you think about drawing that same triangle in the correct quadrant, you can figure out sine, cosine, and tangent pretty quickly. Another one like that is, let's see, they have number, number seven is sine of three pi over four. Well, what is three pi over four? First, I see my reference angle is pi over four, so that's sine of three times 45. Well, that's the same as sine of 135 degrees. So if I think about 135 degrees, it's going to be somewhere here. This is going to be 45 degrees, my reference angle. So that means this side has to be negative 1 because it's in the negative direction. This side is positive 1, and this is square root 2. So if I want sine of 135, it's going to be opposite over hypotenuse. 1 over square root 2 or square root 2 over 2. So if you think about drawing these special triangles within the correct quadrant and keeping track of where your sign should be negative or positive, it's a much easier connection.